Hello, uh, everybody. This is Michael, and uh, in this video, we will demo one simulation skill. Show the status name in the simulation. Okay. Uh, probably when you coding the Verilog, you sometimes you will get the call like this. This is the status machine status, and this is the status. And this is stated. So we will we'll coding at the one hot um, status machine like this sometimes. Okay, let's, let's simulate it. Run the simulation. Okay, so this is the simulation, and we, okay, so full view, and we added, uh, we, we added our state, our state value into the waveform, and sometimes you want to see, uh, what status you are in and to to do some debug and trace trace the code to show, to see the waveform whether it's correct or not. So uh, we really we will see the status valuable here. Okay, um, we run it again and see the waveform here. Um, you will usually you will see the, the status showing like this the number the number the number so and uh, it doesn't say uh, it's wrong or, or whatever but it's not convenient to you sometimes especially the status is change a lot and then it's not very convenient to Mm, to identify in which status. So is there any possible to show the status name, show the status name in the in the waveform and then we can easily identify so the, which status we are in. Um, yeah. So actually we have so we changed this design uh, Define a little bit like this. Mm. Wait a moment. Oh. Okay, let's copy this. Okay, so define the simulation. We change a little bit, so uh, this we define the simulation. So when for the simulation, we uh, setting the parameter is like this. So it's directly is a uh, is a status name, s zero one, s zero two, s three, and uh, make sure the error error length is like a, a little bit great, a little bit big, and so okay. So this is the status. Let's simulate it again. Run the simulate from here. Okay, let's see the waveform. And uh, so uh, we need to change a little bit the, the radix. So change it to ask. Okay. For you, and a little bit. Okay. Now you will see. It change. It change exactly the status name so it's more easy and convenient to see which status are you in so uh, 
You even can change the status like this. Something, okay, let's take a look. So this is change it to idle. This change it to eat. And this change it to walk. So this change it to sleep. Okay, let's save it. Relaunch the simulation again. Okay, see the waveform. Okay, let's go over here. So this will be idle, eat, walk, sleep, and status 0, 5. So um, by this way, it's very easy to know which status are you in. And then, so uh, this is a, a kind of simulation skills. Um, I hope you will like it and uh, yeah, uh, support us and uh, subscribers thank you